not believe I'm going to Iraq in two hours and I don't have a hotel. You don't have a hotel? <laughs> no. And you're flying today? In three hours. My flight is literally in three hours. I need to leave soon and I don't have a hotel. It's, it's Kurdistan, Iraq, so apparently it's safer. But look, I emailed the hotel that my friends are staying at and they just don't email back. And you can't book it online. You can't book it on the website. You can't book it on a search engine. We usually have to book it a month earlier and put it in our itinerary. I don't uh, know do what it is. Do they have a phone number that you can call? Yeah, can we call them? I wish I was one of those people that could plan in advance, have an itinerary. I literally just booked this flight a few days ago. Luckily, I have two friends going, but aside from that, I don't know anything about Erbil. <laughs> like, yeah. nothing. I started watching some of their music videos, but that's about it. Focus on the hotel now and get the number. So we can, can you call. like can we like call Iraq from your phone? Like yeah, it's like twice as expensive, but it's okay. I'll pay you, man. I'll pay you. No. Should we speak in Arabic? Because if I speak in English, she's gonna give me a very expensive room rate, probably. I don't think that's how it works in Iraq. It's just a Lebanese thing. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 No, no, they're saying How much is it? They, don't, don't, they have one night only. They're, it's sold they're out. They're full, yeah. Tomorrow is uh, full. How is it full in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> uh, a hotel is fully booked in Erbil, Iraq in the middle of October. I'm getting ready to go. I think it's visa on arrival. Do I need a visa online? You didn't check? Alexa, do Americans need a visa to travel to Iraq? To travel to Iraq with a valid United States passport, a visa is required. <sighs> Seriously? <laughs> what kind of visa? So I found something on Google that said Americans can actually just get a visa on arrival, tourist visa for up to 30 days. So let's go. I took a nap, took a shower, and uh, here's the hotel room. It's about $65 a night. They didn't accept credit cards, so I had to pay in cash. Uh, the guy told me that throughout Erbil, they accept US dollars, unless it's like an old you know, mom and pop shop, then they'll only want local currency. They did upgrade me to a suite. Not sure why, but I'll take it. By the way, something super embarrassing happened. I did leave my room for a bit, and then I came back, and I saw that the electricity was off. There was no power. So I called the front desk and I said, hi, when will the electricity turn back on? Do you have any idea? And she sent someone from housekeeping. Someone from housekeeping knocked on my door, came into the room and did this. <laughs> so that just goes to show I've been in Lebanon far too long because when I didn't have any lights, I just assumed that there was no electricity and I would have to wait for a few hours. I'm quite impressed with the internet speed. It's quite fast, but enough time in the hotel. It's time to go explore. All right, the first thing I see is a massive sign for liquor and another one. It's so funny how many looks I get walking down the street with the selfie stick. 
which clearly to me just says how few tourists come here. Baby photography in Iraq. Okay, something political is happening because I was just told by military that I couldn't enter the street um, because somebody was there. So I'm taking a detour to go meet up with some friends at their hotel. Um, do you have tea? 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 Uh, could I have one tea? One? Yeah. Thank you. Are you from Erbil? Yeah. How, how many years? All, your whole life? Um, I, I'm born in Erbil. Born in Erbil. Oh. Yeah. Do you like Erbil? Yeah. yeah. Is it a nice city? Nice city. Uh, amazing city. Okay, say it again. Okay, thank you. Five and a half thousand. So five and a half thousand. I'm still learning the currency here. So five, five thousand and like five hundred. Five thousand and a half. Five thousand and a half. Five and a half. Five thousand and a half. A half thousand. A half thousand? Half yani two five hundred. Oh, I just wanna see, yeah, yeah. So when he's when they say half that means five hundred. Five thousand and a half. So half meaning half of a thousand five hundred. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much. You would think I'd be better with currencies given how much I travel and how simple this one is. This is $1 to 15. Okay, this one is $1 to 1500. So it's quite simple in theory. $3.66. Right now I'm gonna go meet up with my friend Mac. Mac is a YouTuber. I met up with him in Lebanon. It was actually his idea to come to Erbil. So I said, why not? He literally flew from Milwaukee to Erbil. Probably the first person in history to do that. So let's go find him and his friend, who I think the friend's name is Yaz. Seems like a cool guy, so let's go, let's go meet them. There he is, what's going on? <laughs> yo, how are you going, bro? Yo, how yo, how was your flight? Is this an all white day? Did I miss the memo? Are we going to a white a white party today? So Yaz, Upton. Oh hey man. First time to meet you, man. Finally, how are you? Yeah. yeah, finally meeting in person. Yeah. How are you man? Good, good. So tell me your story. Um, well, it's been 17 years since I came to Kurdistan and it's a completely different place. So we just ordered uh, Kareem, which is like a Uber of the Middle East. Uh, and that's really cool that we can use Kareem here because if you don't use an app and they know you're a foreigner, like any country, you'll pay two to three times the amount probably. So where are we going, by the way? Downtown? We're downtown in the tourist area. What is it called? Awesome. The bazaar. Oh, the bazaar. We're going to the famous bazaar. We just arrived to the town square here in downtown Erbil. Um, the weather is actually not too hot, it's quite nice. You can literally smell kebab, as maybe you just heard Max say. Oh, by the way, that taxi ride was about 15 minutes and it cost $4. It's interesting, I'm filming with an iPhone, he's filming with a GoPro, and he's the traditionalist with a DSLR. They're smoking shisha with such determination, like uh, a task, like like there's just so many people just smoking shisha <laughs> as if it's like something that needs to be done, like like they're filling up gas in their car. It's quite funny. He got recognized? No, he just wants a picture of him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> With the white guy? Yeah. Oh. Basically, yeah. <laughs>
Now we got one pomegranate juice. He charges one thousand, which is about sixty-six cents. So Mac bought some seeds for 33 cents to feed the pigeons. That's what we do, we feed birds. They literally have way too much to eat. I'm gonna go talk to that guy. I think he should be raising the prices because the supply and demand here is, is just, it's, it doesn't work out for the diet of these pigeons. Okay, I'm not actually going to. You said best coffee in the world? Yes. This is Turkish coffee. Turkey? What about Iraqi coffee? <laughs> Kurdish. No, where's the Kurdish coffee? <laughs> but I've had coffee in Turkey and it was so good. <laughs> is it better than that? Yes. Better yes. than the coffee in Turkey? Yes, the Turkish yes. coffee in really? Kurdistan is better? Really? Okay, thank you. Welcome to Erbil. Thank you, thank, thank you. you very much. What does it mean? Chani Bashi. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. Can you say welcome to Erbil? Welcome to Erbil. Welcome to Erbil. This is an incredibly beautiful bazaar. Uh, the lighting, the architecture, it's just such a cool energy in here. And the people are super, super friendly. A lot of them don't speak English, but you still can connect with them, even without language. The guy's going in for the upsell because Mac is American and Americans usually fall for the upsell.